Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is setting up our Florida Gate firewall and getting some connection to that machine. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into the fun and start some learning. All right, so what I wanna do first, inside of your GNS3, what we wanna do is create a new project. So let's go ahead and create a new blank project. And in your project, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna put YouTube dash, uh, if I can spell Florida gate dash video dash video one. I know this is a couple videos in, but this is the first time we're actually setting up this VM and excuse me, this firewall and everything. All right, so now what we wanna do is when you get your, if you followed the last video, we set up the VMs, uh, the, the devices. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag my firewall into the project and I can zoom this in. Let me zoom this in so we can see it a little bigger. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I wanna actually label this. So I wanna put a little label. I clicked on this little pencil and I'm gonna say port, let me capitalize that, port one. This is me, my management port. So I wanna do 192.168.1.99 slash 24 because this is the default uh, IP address, right? So what I want to do is just X out here. Let's drag this over. I want to actually put this over here because eventually we're going to get a another machine here. All right. So the next thing we want to do is put the username. So I want to go ahead and click on somewhere here and just put username is admin and there's no password at the moment, right? So I wanna go ahead and put that here. And what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and start this. Let's go ahead and start the firewall. And once we actually start the firewall, what we can do is configure this firewall. We'll set up a new password. We'll configure some stuff and just watch, learn. And I already have my config file already set up. So what I wanna do is just I'm just gonna pretty much copy what I did. And let me go ahead and see where this is at. No, it's, it hasn't started yet. Did I not start it? All right, it is started, okay. So now let's go ahead and console into it. So let's use the console. All right, so now we have this up and running. We can see here we can log in. Let's do admin. I wanna go ahead and do something really quick. Control, right click. Okay, so we can go to change settings now. And we'll give this a second. And in PuTTY, we want to, I wanna make this bigger. So we'll just have to wait a second while this PuTTY is thinking. Oh, here it is, so it's behind here. So now what we can do is go to appearance and inside appearance, we can change the font. I wanna put 20 and I wanna bold it just so it's a little more stand out. So now we can see this a little better, right? So now let's just do a control. Oh, I guess we can't do a control L. Let's do admin and hit enter and then hit enter here. So now we have a new password that we want to set up. So I'm just going to put password 2024, super basic. Okay. So now I want to go ahead here and just so I don't forget. That's the password, okay? So now let's come back over here. So now since this password is done, let me go ahead and come back to my document so I'm not missing any steps. So yeah, so now we're just gonna go ahead and set this baby up. So the first thing we do, we can change the, we can change the uh, host name, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. So let me just put clear or control L, here we go. All right, so now we're just gonna do configure system global. All right, so now we're in global config mode. So now we can do set host name and we can just put it for an example, uh, FTG one. That's fine for me. That's what I made it. And let's go ahead and hit end. So now we want to configure the interfaces. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and do configure system interfaces. 
And now we want to do port number one. So edit port one, enter. All right, so now we're in port number one, as you can see here. So now what we're going to do is set mode static. We want to statically assign this, All right? So we said 192.168.1.99, correct? So let's do set IP 192, whoops, IP 192.168.1.99 slash 24, right? Because it's going to be a 24 bit mask. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set allow, uh, allow access. So I want to be able to ping HTTP and SSH, okay? And we can also set up a alias for the interface. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to do set up alias, no, set alias, and I want to put LAN1, okay? And I want to set the role for LAN, okay? And we'll see this all in a second. All right, so let's hit end here, okay? So now what we're going to do, now we have that configured. Now what we're going to do is bring in a web, uh, a web browser, right? Since we have this web term, I want to go ahead and bring this in. This will probably take a few minutes to, to do its thing and set up and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and right click. We're going to go ahead and edit. Let's go ahead and where's the edit, edit config. I know this is super small. I don't know, let me see if I can zoom this in. I can't zoom this in. So what we need to do is we need to come up here and where it says auto ET0, ETH0, we're gonna take that away because we're gonna statically assign this. We're gonna take this away. We're gonna take all the hashtags away here. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, echo, that's fine for me. I wanna make sure that's up and running. And I wanna make, the IP address dot one dot two and the gateway is going to be dot one dot ninety nine. Okay. So now we're going to be able to get to our subnet that we're going to be setting up. Okay. So that should be it. I'm just checking my uh, config file here. Everything is good. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we can go ahead and start this baby up. And once this is done, we can go ahead and connect it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and connect the port. So let's go ahead and connect the port. Ethernet uh, ETH zero to port one. There we go. So now we have this connection. So now what we're gonna do, once, we, once this is done booting up, we can double click on here and go into the browser. Then we can browse out and get to our firewall. That's the goal. There we go. All right, so that just took a second. So I just double clicked on it again. All right, whoops, what happened here? All right, so now we have our VM or our browser. So technically, if we just come, I'm gonna bring this over a little bit so we can see the IP address. Or maybe we can't see, but we can see the username and password. We know it's sitting at 192.168.1.99. So if I know what I'm doing with some networking, we can hit this. Now we're able to get to our firewall. We can do admin and then password 2024. Okay. We don't have to say this, not now. Okay. We can go ahead and begin the Florida gate setup. We can do comprehensive. And the reason I like to do comprehensive is because we get more things on the dashboard, so it's better visually, in my opinion. You can do optimal, but I like to do comprehensive so I can get all the bells and whistles. You're probably gonna get an error here, which is fine. I wanna go ahead and do not show me again. And this is pretty much our firewall, right? So we can see we were able to hit the firewall from our term, our web term, which is our browser. I wanna see if we need to do anything else. Now we can just go ahead and click around for a second, right? So let's go ahead and just go to like, for an example, let's come over to system. We can go to settings and we look, we can see all the settings, like uh, the host name that we configured in the CLI. I wanna go ahead and put this to Eastern time because this is where I'm at. We can see that port 80 and 443 is accessible for administrative. Let's go ahead and apply this. And then what we're gonna do really quick, I wanna show you guys 
If we go back to network, we can see interfaces. We can see the LAN interface that's up. We can double click in here and we can see what is accessible, right? We have ping, HTTP, and SSH. This is what we allowed when we set that allow access command or set allow access. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. We got it. We got the initial setup set up for uh, Florida Gate. So that's pretty much it. If you guys found this informative, please remember like, subscribe, and share. Comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.